everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you this little box out of Legos. Um, it can also be used as a shaker. So, that's pretty cool. It's made out of little materials that um, I, I found um, useless. This is just a sticker because I couldn't find any um, one by fours that didn't have it, so yeah. What you will need is this brick remover, which is optional. Not this exact one that I'm holding right now, but like one just like it, you know? It's identical twin, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to pry this open because it was really tight. Since the material I used, it's really, it can get all over. So, it's these pieces of little chunks of wood. Um, uh, I got from cutting off the round edges of popsicle sticks. So I'm just going to go get one quick. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So... These are pretty much it, where I just cut off the round edges. I was trying to make a coaster, um, so from this other video I saw, I just wanted to make a coaster, <laughs> just for fun, you know, because I'm a pretty crafty guy. So, yeah, you won't need this for the model at all. Um, you just need this, so, yeah, you'll also need... A 4x6 base plate. It doesn't have to be blue. It can be any color. But you'll need two of them. You'll also need four of these 1x4s. Um, I couldn't find a fourth 1x4, so I'm just going to use these two to make one. And this kind of sawdust kind of mixture. Which we will get to in a second. So let's just set that aside. And start with the model. So you're gonna start with the one of the um, base plates and these, and we're just gonna work our way around the outside of the base plate. So why I'm using blue and yellow is that I found out that they really go nice together. When they're put together, it just looks really nice. Like, see that? See that? See that? Don't put this on just yet. But yeah, that looks really nice. So, we're going to set this base plate aside. And we're going to take the little mixture and just pour it in. And just take that off. All good. Yep. So let's just set this container aside and take the leftover ones that probably were spilled and put them on. I recommend to do this like on a workbench more than on your kitchen table, <laughs> like me. Um, but I don't really have the time to just go right outside, bring all these materials in to the workbench. Um, by the way, we do have a workbench in our garage, so, yeah, I might make some future videos with, at the bench. So, now, we're just gonna, after you put it in, all this stuff, we're just gonna close the cap on, so take the other base plate, and really push it in, push it on until you just can't and those um, kind of like plasticky noises I guess like this kind of noise um, I don't know if you can hear it but hear that? that little creaking kind of sound that's what you want and you just want all of it to go out I'm literally pushing super hard there we go 
it's done. So now you got a little shaker. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty fun if you're in a little quiet band at night and you're just gonna make a really quiet band, I guess. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video and um, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and make sure to think about what you're saying before you actually comment because I don't really like nice comments. I block those because I really do not like it. I just want a safe, friendly comment for our videos. So. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video.